Yo, what the hell's going on guys? Welcome to your very first PSD2 responsive website tutorial. Wow. Okay then guys, so just a little bit about what this playlist is going to be about and what it's not. So, it's going to be a PSD2 responsive website, single page development. Okay, so I'm going to take a PSD website template and I'm going to turn that into HTML, CSS and JavaScript to make a responsive single page website. It's not going to be built on a framework like Bootstrap or anything like that because I want to show you how quickly I can prototype using my own media queries and I think it is always beneficial to understand the inner workings of something and how to use media queries and whatnot before you start jumping into uh, frameworks anyway. So once we've done this playlist, maybe I'll do another one. In fact, I will be doing another one on Bootstrap. So uh, it's not going to be built on a framework and it's not going to be pixel perfect. That's not the aim of this tutorial series. You know, I'm not going to be using the exact font sizes or padding or anything like that. Uh, my aim is to show you how quickly I can prototype and how quickly you can prototype a responsive website from scratch. Okay. So this is what you're going to need to know or probably should know before starting this playlist. The first one is a bit of Photoshop. Don't need to be an expert, you just need to know what the slice tool is and how to slice images. Uh, and I'm going to show you that anyway in case you don't. And uh, how to move different elements about because we are going to adapt our desktop design in Photoshop and create a new PSD which is going to represent the mobile view. Okay, so just a few different things you need to know in Photoshop, just the basics. Secondly, you're going to need to know how to code up a page in HTML and how to use CSS and possibly a little bit of JavaScript, just a little bit to make our responsive mobile drop down menu. Uh, thirdly, you probably should know the basics of responsive design because I'm not going to go into any great detail into uh, what the viewport tag is or the uh, media queries or anything like that. If you want to know a little bit more about that, then I'll leave a link to my responsive design tutorial series where you can learn all the basics first. I'll leave the link th uh, to that down below. You can check that out first. All right then guys, so I thought I'd just give you a little preview as to what the end product is going to be of this tutorial playlist. Um, this is it right here. I've built it already. And this is the desktop view, you can see, just a single page website, it's pretty neat. And then as we change the viewport size, you can see it's fully responsive uh, and fluid as well. So it's getting smaller and then we're going to hit a few different breakpoints in a second. You can see where the design changes like that. And again in a minute, there it is. And then again for mobiles. And we have this drop down navigation here. So that is the end product. That's what we're going to be building in the next kind of 10 to 15 tutorials or something like that, tutorial videos. Um, just a couple more things I want to show you. First of all, this is where I got the PSD file from. This is the website we're going to be building and you can get it from this website. I'm going to leave the link to this down below so you can go there and download it yourself. Secondly, I'm going to be doing all my coding in a text editor called Brackets because it's pretty cool and it's free. And uh, you can download that right here at brackets.io. So that's it for this introduction. Um, in the next lesson, what we're going to be doing is diving into the PSD. And we're going to start slicing up some images. So I'll see you guys then.